Here's the latest attacks on the woman Thomas Williams swore was a credible lady, someone that gave all and took nothing. But now he basically calls her a scammer and liar. Team Bubba called her out from the start, but instead we were attacked with lies and made-up stories. Here's what he has to say about her today. Now Kim recently said she does a background check on all people she engages with. And so with the quantum system and the full range of access to all agency background files on everyone, plus having data mapped every person on the planet. Are you telling me that Kim couldn't find these details on Charlie Wood before going on his show? The trustee on a show with a child pedophile procurer, money launderer, shell corporations that's connected to trafficking, in some cases children it seems, connected to dinars and the RV just like Tank, connected to Q, connected to the Rothschilds and Epstein and Maxwell. Ward is also served up with a dish of cold rice, who is another of the currency scam scheme of cryptos. And since the split, Kim has got involved with Tank, RV, Ward, RV, another currency laundering, Dan Lutz, part of past or present Swiss Indo, who are known for trafficking children and crypto, and now Rice, cryptocurrency and a bigger picture emerges here. Why is the trustee connected to all these lead scam artists? Remember, she was a high-level banker and should be able to spot these sh shysters a lot easier than us normal guys. But when you have access to all the world's files on all people plus a multitude of titles and yet we are to believe she didn't know about these people. At which point does it look like Kim may be a part of these scam artists? At which point does the boundaries of naivety on her part fall apart? Both of them were questions, not statements. Well, how with all those titles and access to endless streams of people's databases do you end up mixing with these type of people? All in the space of 12 months. To some it seems I escaped a bullet. But then Kim knows all too well I would never have mixed with those people in a million years. Let's just recap on the characters he has introduced into his groups. Neil Keenan. Judge Nay I do. Drake and Bailey. Edmund K. Silva. Kimberly Ann Gogwin. Dan Lutz and. Stefan Rowe, aka Tank. He introduced them all into Cosmic Voice and THI. And now claims they are crooks, agents and traitors. He's jumped the sinking ship to try and avoid any blame, and continue his scam of skive and preach, along with holding out the begging bowl. She was told I would never compromise myself or the people for money or titles. That is not, and never will be happening. Maybe that's why she fired me for no reason whatsoever. Some will still not believe that, but time will always tell. But I find it amusing the very people who doubt that will not engage me in an adult-based conversation, which renders them at the same level as Team Bubba and their band of pedos and agency-based stooges. Remember I offered them several times to come on our show and air their allegations. They refused every time, just like Kim has refused five olive branches. They refuse because they know I will stand in their truth and their narrative will fall apart in a public forum. But what has been evidenced now is 
there is a range of UK operatives playing lead roles in duping the alt-media public, some of whom are connected to the British establishment, Ward, Steele and his sidekick Sasha Stone, Parks, Ike, to name but a few, all of which smacks of agency-based stooges who may well have been forced into those roles for past misdemeanours. And the only losers in the alt are the alt-media followers in all of this. And that is the great sadness to me, that so many tasked with providing the alternative, alternative narrative turn out are just a bunch of sellouts and self-serving criminals sending people off the path. I named this show that way for a reason. I don't do fakery, and I challenge myself to operate under those three traits, truth, honour and integrity. I think over time I have proven that, and if you doubt that, I will say, just give it some time, and time will always tell. Augustus Gloop, the great bakery the evening come poop. Augustus Gloop, so big and vile, so greedy, foul and infantile.